Hi guys and welcome back to another Ya Ya video. So as you can see today, we are doing a chunky jumbo lock style video. We have got 22 inches of goodness. So these looks go all the way down my back. They look so natural. Like I don't even think that the camera is picking up how natural these look. Honestly, it feels amazing to just, you know, have something in my hair and not have to do it for a while. And if you want to see exactly how I did this, all the tips and tricks that you need to keep these in for a while, stay tuned. But I've already gone ahead and done the rest of my head. I just thought that you guys didn't want to have to sit there and watch me do every single thing. So I first put my hair into mini twist. Um, I did about, if I count correctly, 32 sections. So in total each, I have about 32 locks in my hair. Um, the reason I opted for twists instead of braids is just because twists are faster. And I don't get on people that just do twists because it works the same. I started the base of my hair with a braid and then carried on with twists. I also found that the twists were bouncier and a bit thicker and it kind of complemented this as a base a bit better which I really enjoyed. So I have left three pieces of hair to show you guys exactly what it is that I like to do. And if you are interested, stay tuned. So to do the base of the braid, I attached the lock to my hair as you can see and these two strands over here are going to form the thickness of the braid. So if you find that, for example, your hair might be shorter than mine and you still want to get this sort of length and this size, I would say go for two sets or two strands of these locks and pop them into your hair. So these locks are actually, if I stand up, very, very long. I believe these locks are 22 inches long. And if I'm going to be honest, I have been looking for some locks that are this length. Every single packet of locks that I get are always 18 inches. And my hair is always peeping out at the bottom of it. And it's literally been irritating me for a long time. I've been looking for some locks that are actually a lot longer. Um, this video here is not sponsored. I'm honestly just giving you guys my actual honest thoughts. This is a black British owned business. Black British owned female business. So you know, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna hype it up because it needs to be hyped up and it's actually that good. So what I liked about these ones as well, because they are quite long, I use this as the base of my braids, so as you can see, to create the thickness, and I use it at the ends. So I wrap my hair around using Marley twists or Marley braiding hair, and then leave the ends like so. So once you're done with the strands, what you're going to want to do is grab two strands of your Marley hair. I use the color two and color one B, mainly color two, but I do have a pack of one B in here somewhere. And what you're going to want to do is separate the strands. And then once you've separated both strands, you're going to get something that looks like this. And you kind of want it to look like one large strand. So what I'm going to do is get closer for you guys so you guys can actually see. So you're going to want to get your Marley hair and as you can see there's a little bit peeping on the side. You need to hold that towards the actual strands that you have to begin with so that can stay nice and tucked away underneath the hair. So then you grab the rest of the longer piece of the Marley hair and you just wrap that around your hair until you get down to the end. So you're going to see here that as I am wrapping my hair, I noticed that I was making quite a few mistakes at the beginning. When I was letting go of my hair, the spirals were popping up and you could kind of see the gaps of where I didn't wrap the hair properly. So what I noticed and what I learned is that to be able to get this whole uniform vibe that's going on, the actual dread look and not a twist, you're going to want to make sure that your hair that you're wrapping is completely flat and that you're not twisting it like so. So you need to make sure it's completely flat, going in the same direction. And you kind of want to, when you're doing it, don't go down and towards the spiral. You want to wrap the hair around and make sure that the next piece of hair that you're wrapping around is going on top of part of the piece that you've already wrapped. So you want to hold it like so, so it's straight and flat. Wrap around and 
then wrap around again so that it's covering parts of where you have wrapped previously. So just continue to wrap all the way around. And here you can see that I still have a bit of the crochet hair at the bottom. So even though initially the crochet hair is quite shiny and quite wavy, it does actually blend quite nicely when you separate the curls at the end or even if you decide to just pull it like so. It blends in so well with the money hair. So once you get to the end, you may want to continue to wrap around or you take the hair and wrap it around upwards to make sure that it stays in place. So one of my favourite parts about these kind of dreads is that they are not all uniform and they don't all look the same. So it's honestly okay to make a bit of a mistake in one area or some areas just to cause a bit of dimension. I did try to switch up my style a bit where I, when I was doing it. I did some parts tighter and some parts looser just so we can get a bit of dimension. But here we go. As you can see, all the way to the end, the Marley hair stops around here and the crochet hair nice and long and fluffy at the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is rub, rub like so. So I shy away, not even shy, I fear the lighter near my face and near my hair. I know people say that it doesn't burn it, but I do not have the time to find out if I will be the exception. So instead of that, I like to get my straightener and make sure I'm able to go in and really seal in those ends. And when you're using the straighteners, you want to make sure that you hold on in one place for too long or else you're going to have a really, really strange dent in your hair, a straightener sized dent in your hair and it's going to be shiny and very hard. And there we have it guys. Honestly, I feel that these natural sort of locks are a little bit of me. There are so many different types that you can do, honestly, but I think these so far are my favourite. But thank you so, so much for watching guys and I hope to see you in another one.